What's up gamers? What's going on today? I'm going to be showing you a method I came up with to help me better do the math in the game satisfactory here today. We're going to be, I'm going to be giving you an example based on your probably first, uh, steel plant where you're going to be making steel ingots. You're going to be converting them to steel pipes and steel beams. So let's go ahead and get into it. I've got a pretty awesome breakdown if if you're a veteran and watching this let me know what you think as far as this whole system goes uh but if you're brand new to uh the math and everything or maybe you just struggle with the math like i do uh this new way that i've came up with is pretty awesome but before i get down to the paper i'm going to show you what my plan is here i'm kind of in the middle of building this right now but uh let me show you around a sec all right so here we are on the map uh kind of like middle ish i guess north north e or north middle something uh we have three or four i apologize um pure coal nodes here and they produce 120 parts per minute now we're using mark ii belts i do have mark three unlocked but we're using mark ii belts for this at the moment uh that can transport 120 parts per minute so we've got uh yeah we've got f one two coming in there third one there and a fourth one just over there uh also if you're in this area across the lake um i'll take you to it here bear with me bear with me bear with me uh, pretty much across the lake from the coal parts right over this hill there are four pure iron nodes and i'm just gonna hop on this conveyor belt and walk all the way up to the top of the hill here and then i will show you guys where those four pure iron nodes are all right so really not too far to not too much farther from where my building is right there uh right on this flat area up here there is literally four pure iron nodes right here in this one little section so this is a really great place to do this uh with all the pure iron and the pure coal in the area so if you are ready then i'm ready to explain it uh actually let me show you the insides here real quick if you want to go ahead and skip forward to the math i'll have a timestamp down below to get to the nitty-gritty but let me show you what it looks like first and then we'll go from there um so i'm trying to get really in-depth with detailed with building here because that's one of the things i love to do uh but here you can see so we have our 120 it's obviously backed up right now because i've got four containers full of pipes over there uh, but I intend on, you know, bringing these up higher and uh, pretty much replicating this same build. Uh, but more or less, we've got our 120 parts per minute of coal and iron coming in uh, into our foundry here. Uh, from the foundries, this is this is a part that I found somewhat challenging, is we needed to turn three foundries into four constructors to get the most bang for our buck out of this. And this looks like an absolute mess, but I'm going to break it down for you. Right now on paper, I love to do everything in Adobe Illustrator, so I've got it all doodled out. But let's go ahead and get into it, and this is going to uh, hopefully help you out a lot. Let's go. All right, so on the screen here, this might look like a cluster to start, but I'm going to promise I'm going to break it down for you Barney style here. Um, essentially, this is our whole diagram for, for exactly what I just showed you. Now, I'm going to... We're going to start here. So this is where our... This is where our ore is going to be coming from. So we're going to be using our MK2 belts, which move items at 120 uh, pieces per minute. So um, over here as well, I've got like a little key thing. So S means splitters, M means mergers, and PM means parts per minute. Uh, so here you go. If you want to pause the video right now and take a little screenshot of that thing, if you think you'll find this helpful, go ahead and do that now. Uh, here we have our furnaces across the side and constructors across the side here, but we're going to start at the very top. So we have our iron and our coal. Both have to come all the way up here. Uh, we're going to take each one into a splitter. We're going to split that 120 parts three ways, which is going to, uh, which is going to give us 40. Uh, now we do require 45 per minute here. And if you really want to underclock your furnaces that from 45 down to 40, you can, but I found it just to be totally fine to just leave them at, you know, their base stats right off the bat. So, um, 
total here, uh, we get 135, but we've obviously only got 120 coming in. So that's pretty much what we get out. We go, we go 45 iron, 45 coal, and we get 45 ingots out per minute. Uh, so this is the interesting part because constructors require 30 ingots per minute uh, to output 20 pipes per minute. So if you do the math there, 30, 30, 30, 30 to get to 120, we've got 120 coming out and we need, so that means we need 120 going into the constructors. So this is where I ran across the problem of, hey, I've got three outputs and four inputs. How in the heck do I evenly distribute all of these ingots to the constructors and I figured it out. Um, so what you need to do is you ne need to essentially create 12 lines rather than uh, the three that you come out with. So the way that you do this is you take one splitter out of each furnace and you split it two ways. Uh, don't split it three ways because that'll mess everything up, but you just split it two ways. You come out of the furnace, you go left and right. Okay. Now, once you do that, you're going to plug that into another splitter. And from there, you're going to take three outputs from these splitters and plug it into one merger. So essentially you're, you know, three and four, are both divisible by 12. So if we get to 12 lines here, which we do have across here, we've got 12 lines coming out. Uh, we can then, you know, divide 12 by three and get four. So you're going to take three lines it's going to look a little silly uh but you take three lines out here to this merger same thing with this splitter here you take one out of that one and then two out of this one you just kind of work from left to right uh but you essentially want all these mergers to be totally full and that will give you your 30 ingots per minute for each individual constructor and it will get you your 80 per minute output for your steel beams now, essentially the same exact thing works for steel beams, but you only get 15 out per minute. So you're only, uh, actually, hold on. Is it 15? I don't know what the, the only difference is, is the output amount is different for steel beams in comparison to steel pipes. And um, the way that I'm going to set mine up is I'm going to have four of these, or th I'm going to have four, you know, coal and iron inputs total. So I'll be able to split this up four different ways. And then uh, one of them will be for pipes and three of them will be for beams uh, because we need beams for a lot of stuff. We don't really need pipes for a whole lot. So either way, I hope that helps. And this is a short and sweet video on how to set up your first steel factory. Um, tune into the live tonight if you want to check it out. I'm going to be working on, uh, you know, beautification and all that good stuff and adding the other layers uh, on top. But we'll be live on YouTube and Twitch if you want to come by and ask questions or maybe you want to come by and tell me I'm stupid. And I don't know what I'm talking about. Either way, I'm not claiming to be a professional. I'm claiming to suck at math and finally found a way that makes sense to me. So hopefully this helps. And uh, make sure you like the video and consider subscribing. I appreciate you guys very much. And we will see you on the next one. Pieces.